Pastor Ed here, and it's time for the Word for Wednesday, and our word today is the word disciple. One of the things that happens after Jesus rises from the dead that we just celebrate on Easter is that he begins to commission his disciples. Now, this commissioning appears in all four Gospels. It also appears in the book of Acts as one of the last things that Jesus does before he ascends into heaven. And I love the way Matthew writes for us what happened that day when Jesus commissioned them. And he writes this in Matthew chapter 28. He says that Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. The phrase Matthew uses there is make disciples. Now, the concept for uh, Jesus' day was the word Talmud. Uh, a Talmud was a disciple, a follower of a rabbi. And the goal of the Talmud wasn't just to know what the rabbi knew, but was actually to live and be just like the rabbi, to do exactly what he does. That's what you were learning. You would leave everything and you would be a Talmud of a rabbi and you would follow him around and your goal was to be just like him. That was their goal. And now Jesus is telling them, I want you to go out and I want you to make Talmuds of me. I want people to live and to be just like I was. And isn't it amazing that 2,000 years later, that's still the same mission of the church. That we are supposed to be making disciples, making Talmuds, helping people to be just like Jesus. And this concept goes all the way back to the beginning. In Genesis 1, we are told that we are created in the image and likeness of God. The Imago Dei. And that sets us in life of who, what we are supposed to do and who are we supposed to live like. So when Jesus came, he took that Imago Dei and he put it into flesh and bones and lived it out. So now we know what the image of God looks like being lived out in a broken, fallen world. And so he asked his first disciples to be just like me, and he invites us to be just like Jesus. So we shouldn't be amazed at this idea of image and likeness. We see it all the time. For example, we just watched a movie uh, at our house called Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Um, it's a story about a writer who's writing a story about Mr. Rogers. And Tom Hanks, who always does an amazing job uh, portraying people, is playing Mr. Rogers. And I'm watching him go through this scene going, wow, he, he sounds just like him, right? He's dressed just like him. He, he's doing everything to be just like him. So we should be amazed at this image and likeness. We see it all the time. And you and I, we are supposed to be just like Jesus if we are going to be his disciples. So here's my question for you on this Wednesday. How are you doing being just like Jesus? Being one of his Talmuds. And not just knowing what the rabbi knows, but doing what the rabbi does. That's a question I want you to think about today. Thanks for joining us on this Word for Wednesday.